So energy modeling is really looking um, at the whole building, integrated analysis of how buildings use energy. There's a lot of reports out there that are saying we need 50% energy reduction in our existing building stock to get to where we want to be in terms of climate change. And we're not going to get those kind of savings if the design industry cannot make a compelling business case for why owners are going to want to invest their money. We decided to go at the problem with a three-pronged approach. And the first was to develop some short-term tools and those tools are really to help the service providers. It's to help ensure that the results that they're getting have been quality control checked, that they're confident that they're meeting the loads in the simulation, that their results are accurate. And then a lot of the tools also help them take those results from the energy model, which usually just talk about things like kilowatt hours saved, and translate them into more meaningful outputs for a building owner. The second thing we focused on was a training and education program targeted at teaching people the engineering fundamentals behind energy modeling. So it's not training that's specific to an individual tool, but it's really the background knowledge you'd need to have to build the models, know that they're working right, and then use them to actually inform and influence design. Um, and then the third thing that we focused on was industry coordination. And so to tackle that aspect, we hosted um, what we called the BEM Innovation Summit. And it was really interesting that even within the Department of Energy, the different national labs really had these overlapping, divergent efforts going on that they themselves weren't even aware. Um, and we got some great feedback from them, saying things like, we've been talking about wanting to work together for years, but it took RMI to actually make it happen. RMI's long-term vision for where this would all go is that design teams would be functioning as an integrated team. And the engineers and the architects and the energy modelers would all be part of that process from the early concept design phase together. And we think that if we ever got to that ideal design and retrofit process, that the type of savings we would be seeing in buildings would be dramatically different from what we're seeing now. And being part of an organization that has a bigger picture view of things and really wants to tackle the source of the problems has been incredibly satisfying for me professionally and just really exciting in general.